What's up guys, today's video we're going to do a leg workout, we're going to do a little bit of an all round, we're going to do two quad, two hamstring and then two glute. Right, so the first exercise we're going to start off with is a Romanian deadlift, so this one's going to target hamstring and the glutes. Because this is the first exercise, we do need to make sure that we're warmed up properly, so I'm just going to gradually build the weight up to my working weight. I'm not going to do like 10 reps for every single warm-up set, I'm going to be here all day, so I'll probably just do a couple reps, pop it down, let her go, same thing again until I hit my working weight. So whenever I'm doing that one, this exercise is something which has just improved over the years. I felt like before a lot of my lower back would over engage, but from practice, just going through the repetitions, through the motions, whenever I lean forward and push my hips back, I'll go right up to the point where I can feel like my hamstrings are fully stretched. The thing that's improved the most for me is my ability to actually think about shortening the hamstring muscles. So I very, the reason why you see me do it slow and controlled is because I've got more time to think about what it is that I'm doing. So I can really think about shortening the hamstring. And at the same time, glutes engaging as well. So it's a really good exercise for me. So when it comes to doing my leg training, I don't just stick to the same exercise over and over again in the same order. I mix the order around and I will mix the exercises up from time to time. So something like this, for example, Romanian deadlift. If I'm doing it as the first exercise of the day, my ability to lift heavier weight is going to be much more compared to, say, for example, if I did this halfway through a workout or at the end. So today, I'm really going as heavy as I can. And I will tend to pick a weight where I can maintain the tension on my hamstrings and glutes. The moment I start to feel my lower back doing too much of the work, I'll bring the weight back down. So that was the first exercise done. We're going to move on to leg press now. Generally speaking, if you've done an exercise which has really loaded up your lower back, you don't want to go and do another exercise which is going to load up your lower back because that's going to increase the risk of injury. So I wouldn't squat after doing something like this. So we're going to do leg press because the back is supported. I'm going to try and create as much force as possible with the legs. We've got four different leg presses here. I'm going to go for the leg press, which is on a little bit of a pivot because the one I'm used to at my normal gym is just a typical 45 degree one, so I want to mix it up a little bit today. So for this exercise, it's going to be more quad focused. So I'm going to bring my feet lower down, a little bit closer together. So I'm not looking to bring the platform all the way down as close as possible to my chest. I want to always make sure that my lower back is in contact with the bench or the pad itself. Because if I do that, I'm moving the tension away from my legs onto my lower back. And one thing as well, you can tell I'm out of breath. When I'm going for my max weight for eight to 10 reps, it's gonna take me at least 90 seconds to two minutes to recover and get my breath back. So I'm gonna allow myself to have a decent rest period. A lot of you guys, you really just need to gauge your rest period, okay? So you wanna be able to go into your next set and either match or improve upon the previous set's intensity. 
keep that in mind. The next exercise we're going to do is the lying leg curl. It was a toss up between doing a lying leg curl or a seated one. I tried the seated one here, it just doesn't really fit the way I'm put together. It didn't feel right, so I'm doing the lying one instead. So maybe just one warm up set for this and then we're going to go into the working set. Yeah, focus on pushing the hips down all the time. So every time, keep the thrust down. Hold the squeeze at the top. Hold. Up. Hold the start. Up. It's high. Up. One more. Up, 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 up. Yes, yeah, so the important thing this one is, whenever you're curling the weight up, you have to keep your hips pressed into the bench. If you don't, you're moving the tension elsewhere, you can put it onto your lower back. And one thing I'd say as well is, if you do start to notice your calves are cramping, I would lower the weight. Next, we're going to move on to leg extension. I'm going to do these really, really slow and controlled so I can feel every single muscle fiber in my quads shorten. I want to fully lock out on the top so I'm really trying to shorten the muscle as much as possible. A similar approach I've had to the rest of the session. The first two sets they're gonna be intense I'm not gonna lie but it's gonna be that last one with the help of the spotter which is gonna be pure agony. Help spot me, spot me. important with this one that you keep fully upright, okay? If she leans back and she slouches, you're going to shorten the active range. So, fully upright, solid posture, you're going to try and lock out the top. and when I have a training partner. It's the last set, the last set is the all out set where I'm going to complete failure. And because I have a training partner here, they're gonna assist me when I reach concentric failure. So when I can't shorten the muscle anymore, they're gonna help me shorten the muscle fully. They'll let go, I'll take the eccentric range of motion because I've still got the energy to do that. But I'm gonna let them do it basically until I can't move the weight anymore. And that's how I'm gonna approach the last set of every exercise. Right. So we're going to do a split squat or Bulgarian split squat. The focus of this one is going to be glutes because we've really done two quad focus, two hamstring focus. So the setup for this one is going to be quite important. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place one foot a little bit further out than I would do usually. And I want to make sure that my knee is above my front foot at all times. Okay, and as I sink down into it, as it's shown, I'm going to lean forward slightly, stretch the glute, and power forward like that and squeeze it. I'm not going to lock out and rest. I'm going to hold that squeeze. Correct. So I'm going to do three sets of this one. First one was my full all-out one. That was, well, it's not really a warm-up because we're pretty warmed up now, but it was, it was still a working set. Last two sets are the heaviest weight, which I'm going to do. 
I nearly reached failure on that last one. But to be fair, this is one way you don't really have a spotter to spot you, so you know, don't do anything too crazy. But you should still push yourself as much as you can do. A couple of seconds rest in between each leg, just to compose myself, because the second leg is by far always going to be harder. Final exercise is a variation of a hip thrust, but we're going to use a rowing machine. As we can see, it's not going to be a crazy amount of weight, but we are going to try and concentrate as very much as possible, squeezing the hamstrings and even the glutes at the top of this movement. If you've never done it before, give it a try. It is really quite good. Start off with your body completely straight, and then you're going to thrust forward and squeeze. So you have to, you have to thrust up as well. No, no, no. Okay, go down, down, hips down, yeah, and then you're going to curl up, yeah, up, and squeeze the hamstrings, feel it, three, all right, slow it down, come on, feel it, squeeze, three more, three, that was bad, that was bad, <laughs> come on, buddy, shit your reps, come on, your bum has to go up, <laughs> Last one, last one. <laughs> I'm cheating. Trying to cheat her way through these reps. Sorry. So I'm going to make it a little bit hard for myself. I'm going to use a plate. Done. So that is the session complete. Sorry if I haven't been more talkative, but in between these sets I've been absolutely dying. I've put the full workout on the description if you want to check that out. If you want to check out my training programs, make sure you go on my website, www.mikethurst.co.uk. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.